Hello everybody, today we got the rest of my Tomica mainline cars, all the kind of the miscellaneous stuff that didn't really fit in with those, well, kind of the cars that I have a couple of, not like I can't make a whole 15 minute video out of, until they're all together like this. So first we'll start with, Tomica does have fantasy castings, uh, we'll look at them first. Starting with this helicopter from the Hyper City line. This one, uh, well, it's exclusive to America because the Hyper City. It's only in Toys R Us. You could find this thing. So this one does have a lot of action. See the propeller spins. It spins very smoothly. And then, get it over here, this side door slides open. And this ladder comes down. And then almost off the camera. So that's pretty cool. Little helicopter. It's not licensed or anything, it's... Yeah, rescue... Hyper Rescue number 8, that's the name on the base, so it's not licensed. Next we'll get, th this might be, this is licensed actually, I forgot about it. It's the J-S-D-F-L-A-V. And I can tell you what that stands for. J, Japan, S, Self-Defense, well, that's D, so, well, Self-Defense Force, I think. Maybe, no, I think that's how it went. Self-defense force. It doesn't really sound right to us, but to them. Or, no, safety defense force. Yes, that's what it was. Self-defense. Really, where did I get that from? And then light armored vehicle. L-A-V. Light armored vehicle. So, it's a licensed car, but not a licensed deco. This is the Hyper City. Once again, so this was a Toys R Us. Exclusive to match the helicopter and the Evo. This thing did have opening doors. There, you can see all the chips trying to get them open. See that hole outside the door there is all chipped up from opening it. It is very hard to get it open. I kind of figured out the trick. They have like this little divot on the side pillar there it allows your nail to get in there and pop the door open why would they make it so hard to open the doors on it I don't know the suspension does have a lot of travel too I really like that and here's the same casting this is a Japanese release of it uh, I don't know what the history of this thing is but, um, yeah, actually, I forgot about this little doggy that came with it. Oh, this little puppy. I'll stand him up. Come on. His head fell down. This little dog. That's cool. And there's a lot of movement with the dog. See his head, you can... Put it down like it's sniffing. You can, I don't know why they used arms for the front. <laughs> they used the standard Tomica person arms for the dog's front arms. But then it's got dog legs in the pack. Don't know what's up with that. Tail, tail wags. So it kind of... And just plop up on the roof there. See, I got it to fit. You can have him sit. <laughs> he's kind of a little big to go along with this thing, but he's a cute little thing. Alright, now one more fantasy vehicle. This is interesting. 
this thing is a, um, it's a Tomica event model, so they would give these away at, like, Tomica events, in the name, literally. You would, you would play a game, and if you won, you would get, like, a mystery Tomica, and this is the kind of stuff that would be in there, these fantasy vehicles, but it does, it, it's, it's like this bus, okay, it's this weird bus, but then you open up these side things, and it turns into an airplane. You can see the jets, the jet engines in there, and the wings come up, and there, it can fly now. Don't know how safe it would be, but, you know, kids toys, so. Next, this is like the only foreign car I have. I didn't even purposely buy it, it came in a lot. But this is the Indy car. Uh, it's a, it's licensed, I don't know. It's a Renault, Formula Renault 3.5. It's licensed, it's not my thing though. So it kind of just sits in the junkyard. Come on. Uh, then the construction vehicles. I'll go through them very quickly as I showed them in the construction challenge. Actually, we'll just bring them all up. Got the bulldozer, crane, and the excavator. If you want to see these boys in action, go check out the construction challenge video brought to you by Fordman, 57 Fordman. Not gonna go through these again. As that video is pretty recent, so well, let's go to some stuff that hopefully you, you guys haven't seen. Starting with Suzuki, and we'll start here with the Swift model. So here's the base model. This is the Suzuki Swift. This was available in the United States via. Um, the um, Toys R Us. Actually, let me open the trunk. I think this is the first generation Swift. But this is the base model, the Suzuki, Suzuki Swift. And a nice red here. And a tiny little trunk. Then there's the Suzuki Swift Sport. Which is a completely different casting. You can see the lens headlights. That should give it away. That's a whole different casting. The first generation Swift Sport. This one was also from Toys R Us. And Japan. But these two were the specific Toy Toys R Us ones. These ones I didn't don't have the red box of. But they're identical. So it really don't need both. And then to go with the Swift Sport. We got the second generation Swift Sport that was just released recently in Walmart and also Japan. Uh oh, I just messed up the camera focusing. So we can look at similarities and all the differences because they are completely different. Even though it's, it's the next generation, it looks like a completely different car. All the side silhouette stays relatively the same. I like the little stubby front on the old Swifts though. The back end stays relatively the same too. Like the same tail light design, same trunk. They probably even use the same trunk, no Atomica. They'll recreate whole castings just to do a little difference, but I noticed they use the same door casting on both um, generation GTRs. Don't know why, but next we got the Suzuki Hutler, right? Hu Hustler, I think. That's a cute little car. Why isn't why is this all messed up now? There we go. It's a cute little car. I like the color combination with the orange and white. And then with the black trim and the silver trim in the front and back. It's a very nice little car. This is another United States release. Let me 
I close the trunk because some some people like to see off the the flush. I'm dying not to go on the suspension, but I can't do that with every single one. And my arm will get tired of going boom, 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 boom. There's the little hustler, or hustler, I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's a, it's, it's hot, it's either hot, hustler or hutler. Next, we got the third Suzuki that was available here through Walmart, the um, Jimny. Now, when people heard Tomica was coming back to Walmart, or coming to Walmart, they wanted the Jimny, and Tomica gave us the Jimny, so that was nice. This is one of my favorite, another one of my favorite castings that I have. There's no opening parts, but I think the amount of suspension travel on this thing makes up for it. Because this thing can go slam to the ground and then pop back up. I really like messing around with the suspension. And the details on this thing are just crazy. And you know, it's always weird. But these Japanese cars, apparently they can have them that low on the bumper. Uh, I don't think you'd see something like that in the United States. Tail lights that low to the ground. But, you know... And this is actually the only Tomica that I know that has a plastic spare tire. They usually are all metal incorporated into the body. Uh, that probably is my favorite Suzuki, but I do kind of dig this one too. This one is not available in the United States. Never has been. I imported this one from Japan. It's the Suzuki Every Mail Truck. Or, oh, what do they call it in Japanese? Yuvinshan? I think that's what mail trucks are called. Yuvinshan. Fire trucks are called Shobosha. And ambulances are called Kyukyusha. So there you go, there's a little Japanese lesson. <laughs> I already forgot what these are called. Oh, mail truck is. Ah, I already forgot. Shut the trunk. Very flush. The back end kind of sags, though. I don't know why. There's something. The front end sits high for whatever reason. But there is the little every. This one also has very tail lights low to the ground, too. They're not detailed, though. They never detail tail lights on red cars. Unless the car is a really dark red. But this, this every, I think is the color that they normally use for the tail lights. So, they're like, oh, that's no point. I think most of the red cars are like a super dark red anyway. So, the tail lights kind of show up. Next, we'll get into Isuzu. Which, uh, there's a couple, of, there's some delivery vehicles for the Isuzu. But we'll start... Probably the cutest of them all. This is the Tomica Junior Azuzu. Elf. Elf. That's funny. Elf. This is actually the third generation Elf. I probably should have started with the first generation. This is the Yamasaki Bread Van. This is the first generation Azuzu Elf. So you can tell because it's got the four, the four um, square headlights up in the front. And then why? Camera, you dumb thing there. It's got the four square headlights in the front. And then it's got um, like the kidney grills, like a BMW. So that is the... First generation Isuzu. This one was an import from Japan. We cannot get this one in America. This is an older one too. What's the date? There's no date. The base on this one was very junky. It only says Tamika, copyright Tomy, 138 scale. Or 178 scale. It does have suspension and the opening doors in the back. 
this is the second generation Isuzu Elf right here and I should have kept this one out so we can compare the front end so you can see how the front end got a little more um, modern looking especially in the headlights there rather than just being black now to like rounded I think this second generation is my favorite version of the elf and I dig this version with the um, construction or kind of like the road service sign in the back which goes so high it's off the camera but I think that says like road work detour or something I translated that a long time ago that says Japan highway services or something I forget. I don't even know why I translated it because I forgot. <laughs> this one was another import from Japan. And then of course, if we track the second generation to the very tiny third generation. I have a larger scale one, but that one is like right up next into the book of reviews after I finish Hot Wheels. So I'm not even going to bother to show it because you guys will be seeing it very shortly. But this is... The transition from second gen to third gen we actually get these third gen elves in America on our roadways so but you can see that the headlights they kind of took the same headlight and it just flipped it sideways and put it upward rather than across I don't really like it I like this better down flat but I don't know. There's the tiny little one. Little elf. Little Tamaka Jr. Oh, and I forgot that little Subaru that sits up on my desk. Dang it. I'll have to bring that down. I might have shown it before. I don't know. But then we got... Are these still Zuzu elves? No, these are Zuzu Super High Decker Bus. It's only a one-decker bus. I don't know why it's super high, but um, there's two of them. I got two, probably from a gift pack or something. Those are the highway buses. Now, these ones have the plastic roof. I don't even know how old is this. Ca this casting's been around since 1988. That's ridiculous. And this was exclusive to Toys R Us in America, too, this, 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 this color. Japan hasn't even probably seen it since 1988. <laughs> but there we are on the front end. It's got, like, what, five headlights on each side? Four? And one's a turn signal, probably. Zuzu engraved on there. And then, kind of 41 on the license plate. I actually like how the license plate's detailed like that. So these, a lot of these Japan exclusives, or American exclusives, didn't get much details on them. As you can tell, no details front or back. This casting's older though, so I don't even think it's ever seen front and back details. But, moving on from Suzu, Suzu if I flop them all over the ground, let's go to Subaru. Oh yeah. The Subaru. Most of them are all sports cars. Or performance cars, I should say. We'll start with the Forester. You guys probably seen this one. It's available in the United States. Through Toys R Us. Not. This is older than Toys R Us. Or, yeah, this is older than Toys R Us. I'm at Walmart. The, But that's the 2019 Subaru Forester. Very nice. I don't know what is happening in the background. It's like freaking glowing back there. There's the Forester. And then we got the Subaru Legacy. G4. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the opening hoods on the Subaru. Now, 
not every Subaru has an opening hood, but every Tamika with an opening hood is a Subaru, which is the weird thing. Except for there's one Honda Civic Type R that has an opening hood and a Prius. But otherwise, they're all Subarus with opening hoods, which is just the weirdest thing. But like the Forester didn't have an opening hood, but most of them do. Three out of the five that I have have opening hoods. So that is very strange. But we'll take the Legacy off the screen and we'll bring on, I guess you can, the modern Hachiroku. The Subaru BRZ. Another Walmart release. I guess they wanted to bring in a bunch of Subarus. Well, they brought two Suzuki's, two Subarus, uh, one Mitsubishi. Uh, two, actually. But, there it is. The Subaru BRZ. This is a nice one. This is a lot of people that don't, are not really into Tamika. This is the one that they wanted from the USA. This is the BRZ. Uh, the, they, they're tired of GTRs, but the BRZ they took. I bought them all because, you know, I like my Tomicas. This one is an older one from Toys R Us. The WRX STI hatch with an opening hood that doesn't stay open. But I love the detail on this one because it does have the hood scoop, which means it's got a top mount intercooler and that's exactly what's in here you can see it detailed there in silver the top mount intercooler that is very nice details on this WRX happy to have it move that let me get the Subaru Legacy B4 and if you know anything about the B4, this too has the hood scoop, and it's a police car. It is big though, that's the issue. If I park it, and <laughs> park the crown next to it, <laughs> uh, the crown just looks dwarfed. I was trying to hold them up, but that's not going to work. That's the wrong one. Legacy, but there's the legacy in this police deco. This one was licensed too. It's not the same as the crown. This one came from the gift pack that I mentioned in the Toyota video. But if you look, we do have the hood scoop. We do have the hood scoop on the hood. And if we open the hood, there is the top mount intercooler sitting back there. So I love the details on these things. Even though it's just the basic. But what is happening? Why is this thing glowing like an angel? <laughs> Jeez. The, my, my camera has serious focusing problems. It's like, oh, we need to change the lighting. It's not that bright camera. Come on. There, that's better. Jeez. But be warned, there was a United States release of this uh, as just a normal gray Subaru Legacy, just stock. They used the same base, that's the issue. They used the same base, and it says B4 on the base. But the United States one doesn't have the hood scoop. and it, But it still has the, the top mount air cooler. But you need the hood scoop for that. So I don't know why they used the B4. They should have just gave it the hood. But that one was extremely rare. Hard to get. So I don't have it. Alright. A couple more cars left, guys. I think eight. Yeah, eight more cars left. Going into Mazda with the C... The CRX, no, not the CRX, CX-5. Oh, my brain's not working today, guys. That Does it ever? I don't think so. This is the United States release via Walmart. Trunk. So, 
I'm one to push the... Actually, you have ten cards left. I'm the one to push, um... Pay attention to these. Like, don't always go for the sports cars. Because some of these street cars are cool, too. And that's kind of what I preach, I guess. Next we have this little Mazda, I don't know how to say it, Demo. With an opening trunk, it's not, oh, it is going to stay open. Wow, it's a miracle. So it's a little K-car. I, I, if you dare to call it a K-car, it's a little bigger than some of the actual K-cars, or key cars. But, it's, it's a tiny car in real life, though. With, um, mirror headlights. Ooh, hiccuping. This one was a United States release. It actually came in the signal, si signals, singles, and through a special play set. It was a Mazda dealership. So I never found that. But I did buy the signal. Si whatever. Okay, next. This Mazda RX-8 police car. Now, actually, this is one of the only cars I noticed that has, like, lens. Well, not lens, but... Details in the tail light. Come on. Focus. So it's the only one I've noticed with details in the tail light. You can see the actual tail light itself. You can see the rest of the outline and everything. So I don't know why this is the only car that gets that treatment. That's some like Tamaka um, limited type stuff. But. And this is Hyper City, so you know what that means. Exclusive to America. Well, Toys R Us for that matter. There it is. Mazda RX-8 police car. I bet they existed in Japan. Probably still do. Next, speaking of key cars for the Mazda Demo, we got the Daiatsu Mira. So now we're into Daiatsu. I've only got two, both from Toys R Us. Two different colors here. The Daiatsu Mira. Pretty quirky cars. Little like, I don't know, hatchback slash station wagon. Very small, they're like nowhere size of an American station wagon, or not even Japanese station wagon. There's Jap Japan has some big station wagons, but like the um, Subaru B4 wagon, Legacy B4 wagon. There is a uh, yeah Stadia or Stagia, Nissan Stagia. See so, uh, Evo wagon. I forgot what the heck that thing's called, but those are the Miras, the Datsu Miras. Five cars remaining. We're going into Hino now. The truck company. With a Shobo shop. Don't exactly know what the crane is on the side there for, but it does have this white accessory on the top there that pops up. Another Japanese or another Toys R Us exclusive release. And actually, I do have the Japanese version of this thing, which I can just pull out to show you right here. There's the box. Actually, it doesn't even say Hino on the box. It says Rescue Truck Type 3. A Rescue Truck 3 Type. Um, the only place it says Hino is like on the, the picture itself. Why is this it's like so freaking blurry? The only place it says Hino is right there on the truck itself. It's a cool little shobo sha. Uh, so you can see how it's just plain. It's got a different design on the side than the American release one. And it doesn't have any lettering. So I guess they kind of make them stock. I mean, you can argue that it's not stock. But in a way it is because that's how they came from the factory. The fire departments themselves put the designs on the side of them. Or at least the words. The station name and everything. 
And next we got another one of those um, highway maintenance trucks. This is a... This one's probably got a name. Yeah. The Hino Duntro. So this is, it's got a fully functional crane on it. Fully functional. It moves up and down. Crane moves to the hook itself. I do like to collect these um, service trucks. If I can dig it out. Service vehicles, actually. They they had a quite a bit, a, quite a few of cars with this design on it. The Toyota Crown, for an example. Um, they had the Toyota Pro Box with the design on it too, which I dying to get that. Although it is freaking expensive though. Like the the price that a lot of these discontinued Tamakas go for, it's just ridiculous. But, I mean, I guess they're worth it, because they'll never be made again. Moving on to Honda. We got the C CRZ. Oh, this is from that gift set. This is the last vehicle from that gift set I've been talking about. This is a Japanese exclusive. I don't know where the heck it comes from, because I can never find boxes for it. It's, every, it's, always, it's always being sold just by itself like this. So I have no idea where this thing came from. If it was a gift set or just a special car that didn't have a box. It shared a box with something else. I don't know where it came from. But everybody sells it by itself. So and I can't find any information on it. But it's a cool little car. The Honda. It, it's Honda's attempt to try to revise the CRX. Then we got this Honda Allison, Allison, little minivan, the sliding door, very nice. I think it's cool that Tomkin does these sliding doors. It's the only company that I notice that does the actual sliding doors. Another Japanese release. Well, I bought it from Japan. It's not sold in America. This was sold in America. We did get this thing in America. This is the, I'll show you the base. You guys have probably never heard of this thing before unless you have this casting. This is the Mitsusoku Orochi. Orochi. Probably means something in Japanese. I, that's my best to pronounce it. That's probably how you pronounce it, Orochi. Yeah. Pretty funky looking car. It does have an opening trunk or um trud is a trud it's a hood in the back hood hood where the trunk should be so it does have a frunk but it doesn't open there's the engine back there yeah mitsusoku so this this company actually makes um body like um what do they call them can't think of the name kit cars so you buy a car and you get the parts and you put it together and you get this. A lot of the times it's based on the Miata platform. I don't know what car this is based off of. What car you put the kit on. Probably a Skyline. Look at it. Probably a Skyline. <laughs> um, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, like their newest, their newest kit, the Mitsusoku Rockstar. Or the Mitsusoku Rockstar. That is based on the Miata. The, the new gen Miata. So you buy that, and you can put all the fenders on and everything. Well, based on the chassis of the new Gen Miata. So. But that is a, all the Lucy stuff. Lucy Tomicos. I made quite the mess. So now if we want to take a look into the bin. These are all up for review. You've seen some of these before. Uh, we've got... Rescue Truck, Suzuki Alto, Toyota Elfard, what's this one? Oh, the Supra, ooh, yes, Supra, uh, let's kind of move some of these, let's, let's see what's under there, ooh, yeah, there's some goodies under there, there's some goodies under there, ooh, 
kind of move these to the side. Toyota Prius, new for 2009. The Toyota Crown, my Jesta. That is a pretty pricey piece nowadays. I got that for a good price, but oof. This thing barely ever shows up on eBay to start, and when it does, I got it for about 10. Nowadays, 90. Yeah, last time I saw it pop up, which was actually a month or two ago. This Honda Odyssey, I really dig. I do dig this one too. Both of these are really good castings. What's this one? Oh, oh, this is an old one. The Nissan Caravan Patrol Car. I like this one. And you can see the evolution of the Tomica logo, or the Tomy logo. It used to be red. This is an old one from the 80s, probably late 80s, early 90s. This one probably even from the 70s. That's an old casting right there. But then it kind of evolved to blue, and it's not really like rounded anymore. Now it's like square. Like you can see how the edges of the T are all rounded, but now it's all flat. And now it's blue. And then now these are the current ones. To Karatomi with the oval around it. So this is this is an American release. The Panda Truck. Tomica Premium R34. That's a must have for me. Uh oh jeez, taking a crown with it. And then the initial D F C and oh ooh, there's some goodies under there too. Oh that's this one. Oh, I just showed you this one. The 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 Toyota Cedric or Crown or whatever the heck it was. Ooh. Another one of those Toyota Majer Crowns. That's the police version. So it's literally the same version of that. Same casting as that. But a police version. Toyota Mark X. That one doesn't even have a bag in it. And then the Pro Box. I know I love that casting. So this is kind of the Japanese side, and then over here on the other side is the American stuff. Actually, it kind of overflowed with the Panda truck. But over here is the American cars, or releases. This is set five, I think, with the cheeseburger truck, the Crown, the CR5, the CX5 police car, which actually got discontinued. And what's this one? Oh, Suzuki Escardo. That's the fourth Suzuki in the United States. Oh, actually, no, the fifth. Fifth Suzuki. Suzuki Carry Mobile Catering Truck. And a Toyota Land Cruiser. Another Toyota Healy Medic. And we ending on an excavator. Yeah, the construction vehicles don't excite me that much. I still buy them because I have the chance to. But... That, that Toyota Crown Comfort, though, that's a favorite casting of mine. The same with that Land Cruiser down in there. Two castings that I really enjoy. Uh, so this, is, this will all be coming soon. These are all up for review. And I want to take this time to initiate my Tamaka challenge. You knew it was coming, guys. You knew. You knew. So showcase your Tamakas. If you got any, give me anything. Tamaka Limited Vintage, Tamaka Premium, Tamaka Limited, Tamaka Basic, Dream Tamaka. Anything. Anything Tamaka goes. And I will be doing another challenge. Don't know when. Uh, probably next video. Next video, I'll initiate another challenge. That's for anybody that can't do this one. Um. It's kind of like a backup. You can also, if you want to do them both in the same video, then go ahead. So don't do this one right away, the Tomica one. Don't, don't do it right away because you might want to do the other one together. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.